I think there is various level of what AI can do. It really depends on the sophistication of your data and what's the algorithm that you're putting in place. Though for me, fundamentally, it's the available of data and how access easily you can grab it. So on our industry, financial services, we have tons of data, mm. but they're so siloed, and that's the reason why you need an LPA to pull all of that together. So I think that's the first thing is that data, and then we come to the unstructured piece. The structure piece is what we need to manage well because that's easy. That's a process driven and you need to know particularly where your gaps are. For example, you make a change here, you need to know where you need to put that. I like to pick on the point on cloud. I think if you have make a choice again, you, you choose the cloud. I think that is a very interesting piece because a lot of people don't realize the management and the, the agility of how you scale off something. The cloud actually give you everything. It give you the security that you need, the compliance and regulatory that you need. And of course, all of those uh, people and, and management process, and also how you, you, you scale up the, the uh, computing power to manage and process tons and tons of data that you don't have to provision on a data center. So I think those are the, I would say, the basic blocks for you to build something. And then on the AI piece is really a simple things like computer vision, right? You come into a branch like we're just launching Right now, while we speak, we have a press release with a nap on a computer vision, so it's a cardless ATM. So when you go into, instead of having a card, you actually go into the ATM machine, it recognizes who you are with a facial API, and you put in a pin, you can cash, you can draw the cash from the ATM. So it actually does a lot of things, so fraud and all of it. So if you ask me what simple success means, it's doing a very simple, meaningful, impactful. It doesn't have to be big, but it's really going to the point what actually makes the customer journey different, what makes your brand different, what makes all your fraud detection and also the risk analytics that comes through with it and the processing part of it different, you can actually start very small and then scale from it. You don't have to be 100% perfect. I think a lot of people try to be perfect and try to get the most sophisticated robot to be up and running, to so able to understand every single language the customer uses, probably not going to help you. So I think starting small and meaningful, addressing the most critical part of your problem is really the key to success.